Hello again everybody, this is the 2012 ZL1 Camaro. Uh, first one we got, only one we're getting unfortunately, they had to uh, cut production over at General Motors, they weren't able to give us the two that they had promised, but uh, this one's here, and let me tell you, this is the best Camaro I've ever seen, I mean just, just unbelievable. Uh, I want to just show you a couple things about it real quick uh, that they've changed from the regular Camaro. Uh, up front, some of the most obvious things, you have the uh, vertical fog lights down there. They updated the grill, changed that a little bit. Uh, front air splitter, bigger lower air dam to let more air into that uh, supercharged V8 engine we got now. Uh, up on the hood, you have a beautiful exposed carbon fiber hood insert here that has uh, four hot air extractors that are completely functional on it. Going around to the side, you've got a new 20 inch wheel. This is the upgraded polished wheel. I think it's a $470 option. Um, very, very nice wheel, very aggressive looking. And behind the wheel, you've got the new Brembo braking system. Um, much bigger brakes than on the SS. Obviously, you need more power to stop this thing. Um, just incredible. Uh, along the side, not too many changes. You have the uh, lower uh, rocker panel that's a little bit different. On the rear of the vehicle, you've got a much larger spoiler to create some better downforce because this car is fast. Top speed's like 184 miles an hour. Runs 1197 in the quarter straight out of the box with an automatic transmission. Uh, you're running from 0 to 60 in uh, about 3.8, 3.9 seconds depending on the driver. Um, <clears throat> another thing I'd like to point out down here is you now have a quad exhaust system similar to what's on the Corvette. It's a dual mode exhaust so it is louder uh, once you break about 3500 RPMs uh, than it is normally. Uh, the rear diffuser has changed as well. You got those gill looks on it. Very very nice. Uh, I'm actually going to start this thing up just so you can hear it. Do the remote start for you. Ready? Incredible sound. Um, moving to the inside, we got a couple more upgrades and new features. Uh, first thing on the door, the panels are now black as opposed to the gray color that they used to be, which is real nice. You have the ZL1 specific door sill, and the seats have been uh, upgraded a little bit as well. Uh, still the same seat design, but you have the uh, suede inserts right here. Um, let me hop in here real quick. Sorry about the shakiness. Another thing I noticed right off the bat was that speedometer now goes up to uh, 200. <laughs> uh, I think the top speed on this car is actually 184 though, so um, just amazing stuff. Now, I also want to show you the head-up display. I don't know how well this is going to come through on camera. But uh, they changed this a little bit as well. Um, you now have the G-Force meter at the bottom left of the display, uh, similar to what the Corvette has. Um, G-Force meter will measure the amount of gravity that your body is experiencing while cornering in this car, which is uh, lots of fun. A couple different displays there. Uh, going down here, you've got same radio as we're used to. Four pack gauges that we're used to, but they changed one. Uh, this lower right gauge now is a uh, boost display rather than the uh, uh, what it was in the old one. If you look down here, that's another real special feature. That's part of the uh, magnetic selective suspension that gives you actually seven different driving modes in this car now. Uh, where you can change the suspension, whether it's on touring or sport mode. Uh, sport mode is obviously going to be stiffer than uh, the touring mode um, and then you have you know whether it's dry conditions wet conditions track street lots of different ways to set it up so I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick look because this one will probably not make it through the weekend so I wanted to get this video while I could um, car is absolutely incredible if you're in the West Palm Beach area and you have time and you want to come in and see it, I don't think we're going to sell it tonight, so we should still have it tomorrow and we're actually having a barbecue at the store, so 
feel free to come on by, get some burgers and hot dogs, and, and just check this thing out. It is absolutely stunning in person. Thanks for watching.